This video is just a short extract from the entire course. If you wish to see all of the videos from this series at higher quality and in far larger screen size, head over to ifskills.com. In this lesson, I'm going to be talking about iPhone simulators. Now, the iPhone simulator is only available on the Mac. To install it, go to developer.apple.com slash Xcode. You have to install the entire Xcode package in order to get the emulator. If you don't have Lion installed, you can probably Google around and find an older version of Xcode that works with Leopard or Snow Leopard. However, sometimes Apple takes those down. Now, assuming you have OS X and you have Lion installed on your Mac, you can go ahead and try and install Xcode. Clicking the link will take us to Apple Store and will open up the Xcode page in the App Store. Then you can click on Free and then click Install Application. Now, I already have Xcode installed on my computer, so I'll show you what happens once you have that done. On your hard drive, you'll have a developer folder. Inside of the developer folder, if you go to Platforms, iPhone Simulator, Developer, Applications, you'll get to iOS Simulator.app, and you can drag that down to your dock to make it easily accessible. If you double click on this, it'll open up the iOS Simulator. With the iOS Simulator, you can emulate an iPhone. This is what Google looks like in an iPhone. If you press Command Left or Command Right, that'll actually rotate the phone as if you had a real device and you had turned it. Additionally, you have a number of options up here. Clicking on Hardware then Device gives you several choices. In this case, I have the iPhone, the iPhone Retina Display, and the iPad. The iPhone Retina Display will actually give me twice the pixel density, and that's because the new iPhone Retina Displays have displays that have twice the pixel density. Depending on your installation, you also may have multiple versions of iOS installed. You can also choose to send the shake gesture, simulate memory warnings, simulate a hardware keyboard, or TV out. Most of this is actually for iOS development, not for web app development, but some of them can be very useful to you. In addition, you can click the home button and it behaves just like an iPhone would. If you want to clear the cache of the iPhone, you can click Settings, Safari, Clear History, or Clear Cookies and Data. If you want to reset the iPhone entirely, you can click iOS Simulator, Reset Contents and Settings. It'll prompt you, and if you click Reset, it'll reset the entire iPhone simulator. So that's how you install and use the iOS simulator on a Mac.